guys, welcome back to Guru Beauty. I'm Jodie and I wanted to make a quick video for you today. You, If you've been watching me for any amount of time, you would have seen me post about the Batiste dry shampoo in many of my What's In My Bin episodes. I do go through probably one of these a month and uh, as well as my favorites video. I do really like this Batiste. I haven't tried many high-end brands of dry shampoo, but I have tried several um, sort of Priceline drugstore type brands. Um, uh, and prefer this to Chlorine, Lee Stafford, um, what else have I tried? I know in years gone past um, they've used something like talc powder. Years ago I got a hair refresher powder from Stila that was nice. It's just a powder, a white powder that you shake in your hair. And this works on the same principle basically. It's just an absorbent powdery material basically that you spray on your hair. It absorbs the grease and it'll help extend your hairstyle without having to wet it and wash it and obviously take the extra time to style it when you do shampoo it. The other thing that dry shampoo can be used for, whether it's first day hair, second, third, fourth day hair, is for volume. I don't usually use this product until I have second day hair and my roots are quite greasy, but I have heard from quite a few sources people who wash their hair and then while they're blow drying or after they blow dry, they use this product, any kind of dry shampoo basically, in the roots. And, um, and it will give you extra volume. It's sort of adding you know, powder in there. It's adding substance in there. Uh, but I just wanted to show you really quickly how I use this product. And um, one of the things that people are afraid of is that it's a white spray. And I'll give you a demonstration. I'll have a bit of fun with this basically. But it comes out white. Now Batiste, if you are concerned about the white, if you've tried it before and you've gotten white, um, then there is a brunette formulation. I have not tried it, but I think that the you know what you spray out is going to be darker and it's going to match your roots a little bit better than a white spray. Now, I'll start with the instructions. So it says to shake the can vigorously before use and in between sprays. If you have used this product before and you feel like it hasn't worked, I wanna make sure that you know that the directions include bold, capitals to shake the can vigorously before use and in between sprays. Hold can approximately 30 centimeters from hair. That's a foot for those of you who aren't on the metric system. 30 centimeters, hold your hair, hold the can a foot away from your hair and spray lightly giving even coverage. Use fingertips to massage through hair and leave for a few moments. Brush product out, preferably using a natural bristle brush. So what I do first is I, I brush my hair. So I've already done that. And then I'll make a part. Basically, I wanna use this product just basically all on the top of my hair at the root. So I'll make a part. I shake the can vigorously as per the instructions and I hold it about a foot away and I just spray like that. Then I'll make another part, maybe one or two inches and I'll spray like that. And then I just make parts around the top of my head and spray like that. Now. This section here, I'll spray quite a bit, um, and you can probably see, can you see it? it's leaving like a light um, substance? I'm gonna spray this closer to my head, so if you don't hold it 30 centimeters away from your head, you're going to get a whiter, more powdery result, but I'll show you what we can do about that. So I'm shaking the can vigorously between sprays as well, so I'm gonna hold it closer, and I'm gonna, look, I mean, this is what people are afraid of with the brunette. So I'm just going to continue as normal, and show you basically what we what we do about that. And then I do also just go back behind here, and then I'll just do the other side, doing a part. Shaking vigorously between sprays. <laughs> So if you were acting in a school play and you wanted to be elderly and have grey hair, you could just use that product, spray it heavily all over your hair. But we don't want that. So you can see probably, I have not used my fingers yet, but you can see, you know, there is a bit of white residue. That's where I sprayed a huge heap. So the next part of the instructions is to use your fingers to massage. So I then just go through all my roots and I'm massaging the product in. Just imagine you've sort of sprayed this powder, absorbent powder on your hair and you now want it to absorb the oil. So I'm massaging it into all of my roots and helping the product pick up 
the oil, helping the absorption process. Always go underneath if I'm going to wear my hair up. And I'll do this usually if I'm curling my hair, I'll do this usually before I curl my hair. Or if I do want to use it specifically for extra volume, then I'll go in after I've curled my hair. So I'm using my fingers just like that to massage my scalp. You can give yourself a nice head massage at the same time. So this is sort of the finish on my brunette hair. If I'm looking in that section um, where I sprayed a whole lot of um, product, you can see it does just um, melt into the roots. It's really not too bad and my hair at the moment is quite dark. So if you, if you, if you follow those instructions, shake the can vigorously before and in between sprays. Hold the can 30 centimeters or a foot away from your head when you're spraying and also take care to massage the product into your hair. Um, I think that you should really like this product. You can see that already that my roots have um, more volume than they did. And then I can go on and style my hair with a straightener, with a curling iron, anything like that. And then if I was wanting to use this product for volume, so pretend that I've styled my hair, whether I've you know just washed it and blow dried it, and straightened it or curled it or whatever and then I'm looking at just adding a little bit of extra volume I would just section my hair off as per the instructions shake vigorously spray it at my roots I would always massage in with my fingers so right into the roots And that would be that, or, you know, you could then tease, and the dry shampoo will help the tease hold as well. So, you know, like that. And then I'd keep, uh, you know, sectioning off and, and doing that to different sections. So I haven't styled my hair yet today, so you're not getting the finished product, but I hope that helps anyone who was wondering about dry shampoo and wondering how I use it at least. If you have anything to add, if you have any other favorite dry shampoos to post about, definitely do down below. I'd love to hear from you, and it would certainly help other viewers as well who are interested in dry shampoos. Have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again really soon. Bye.